Well, it is a bittersweet day for the York County Sheriff's Office training a new K-9 while still grieving the one they lost. Thanks for joining us. I'm David Earl. I'm Alexandra Stone. The circumstances behind K-9 Nitro's death shattered more than the York County law enforcement community. Hampton teacher and coach Kyle Ettinger died when a suspect stole the patrol car Nitro was in and slammed into his car that was waiting for a passing train. The impact so forceful that the suspect and Ettinger died instantly along with that canine. And tonight, KETV News Watch 7's Michelle Bandua reports on a new chapter for the canine program in York County. Good girl. Say hello to the newest member of the York County Sheriff's Department. Good girl. The two-year-old Belgian Malinois is Deputy Chris Fifield's new partner. It was nice to get back in the seat and start training her again um, and, and just getting back to my my job. Fifield lost his canine Nitro a month ago in a tragic chase and deadly crash. We actually had quite a few calls of people wanting to donate uh, either puppies or dogs to our department. An Omaha Marine ended up donating the department's new dog worth about $9,000. It was bittersweet. Um, you know, I had just lost, lost Nitro and so I was still, you know, going through a grieving process. Uh, with her. Okay. Report. The training is helping Fifield work through the grief. She started just a week ago learning how to sniff out hidden meth. When Sergeant Melby first met this dog in Omaha, he knew she was something special and needed to be part of their department. Then he found out where she was from. She was born and raised in the Ukraine. To know that that, that dog is actually now out of Ukraine and over here is going to get to fulfill her life as a as a drug detection dog. The loss of Nitro touched so many people across the country. Many thoughts and prayers for your department and for her and for you. Sympathy cards arrive every day. Community fundraisers have raised nearly $30,000 to grow the canine program. They're installing devices on every patrol car to disable it and open the dog's kennel if a suspect gets behind the wheel. We want to keep them safe and so to have these measures in place now um, makes me feel a lot better. And that's thanks to our community. It, it, it's 100% thanks to all the people in, in our surrounding areas that have done this for us. In York, Michelle Bandur, KETV Newswatch 7. The new canine doesn't have a name yet. They're just calling her dog for now. The sheriff created a coloring contest and invited all of York's first through third graders to draw a picture of a police dog and give her a name. They will choose a winner next week and the student will get their picture taken with the new canine and the deputies. We'll be sure to let you know what they decide.